our vision is to move the world, the U.S. markets, from a, a T plus one settlement structure to a T zero settlement structure. So this past year, we moved from T two trades that settle two days later to T one. It was a large achievement for the U.S. markets, but we're not done. We have to get to T zero. In order to handle T zero, what that means is the disposition of all transactions, all trades, all movement of value in any form can be settled on rails in near real time. That means all financial transactions, the target is for all financial transactions to happen on blockchain rails. To do that, the transaction volume we estimate is somewhere around a million transactions per second. The reality of blockchain networks is they cannot, a single blockchain network cannot scale to a million transactions per second. You have the trilemma, you have a physics problem. But you can do a chain of chains. So what we know in the long run is there will be many chains that's always going to be true, which introduces the interoperability challenge. If there are many chains, how do you move value and data between those chains such that you can have efficient transactions? If you're not able to make this movement freely between the chains, you're really left with the same world that we had before, which was one that scales out and handles all of these transactions through, through various disparate systems that are not connected together and not interoperable. We need to do better, we know we can do better, but it really centers around the kinds of technologies like Chainlink has showed today that allow us to move data and value freely between the network of chains that we know is already developing. Almost on a daily basis, you see new chains coming into the market.